Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I will be explaining how to enable monitoring for the Kibana instance. In other videos I explained how to uh, set up metric beat for the Elasticsearch nodes and file beat. You can check them out and I will link them in the description. But in this video I will be enabling monitoring for the Kibana instance. So when you start Elasticsearch for the first time and you log into Kibana, under the stack monitoring uh, in this uh, page here, you won't be seeing any uh, metrics or logs by default. It will uh, give you a prompt actually to enable self-monitoring of the Elasticsearch cluster. And when you click enable, it will run some commands in the background and it will show you a page here with Elasticsearch nodes and the Kibana instance. This video, I will explain how to enable the Kibana uh, self-monitoring uh, just in case you have it disabled and for that you have two uh, two methods the first one is kibana collection with the metric beat or monitor kibana with metric beat which is rec the recommended method and then you have the legacy collectors which we will use in this video metric beat is the recommended one but we need to send those metrics to a monitoring cluster different than your production cluster and this is recommended because you won't be sending metrics to the production cluster overwhelming it and if the production cluster goes down you will be uh, able to see the monitoring uh, data um, your monitoring data will be available on another cluster but this requires a different license and in my case i have the basic license so i can't do uh, a monitoring cluster so with the self-monitoring, there are um, a command or two or settings or a, a one or two settings you have to enable. So the XPAC monitoring collection enabled uh, should be set to true. It is disabled by, uh, by default. So it is false. And you can do that on every node, on every Elasticsearch node in the Elastic uh, yaml file so if i go here to one of my nodes at the bottom you can set uh, this to true and of course restart the elastic uh, elastic search or you can go on kibana here to the dev tools and run it as a cluster setting cluster wide setting and you can you can check the setting here you can run this api get cluster settings and it will say it is false and there are two things here, the XPAC monitoring Elasticsearch collection enabled. This is to enable monitoring of the Elasticsearch nodes themselves. And it is false right now because I have metric beat monitoring for the Elasticsearch nodes. If you want to enable self uh, monitoring, which is not recommended by Elasticsearch, you set this to true. And if you want to enable collection, monitoring collection, uh, in general on the cluster you set this one to true so what you need to do is run this uh, api request here set it to true so it is either this or you put this setting on every yaml file of the Elasticsearch uh, nodes so now it is acknowledged we can check the setting again here and it should say true i'll go back to the stack monitoring page and for the next step here it says verify that monitoring enabled and monitoring kibana collection enabled is set to true uh, in the kibana yaml file so we have to go to the kibana instance and i have at the bottom here monitoring kibana collection enabled true so I will save this file and restart Kibana. And it says here, um, it, Elasticsearch hosts and the username and password should be configured in the, Elast in the Kibana YAML file so that a Kibana instance knows where to send the data because this monitoring data will be saved on the Elasticsearch cluster as an index so after it restarts 
I'll show you over here the configurations. Elasticsearch hosts, username and password. I have those set up from before. You can check out my other video where I installed and configured Elasticsearch and Kibana. So after it starts, this should reload here and I will log in again. And on the stack monitoring UI, we should be able to see the Kibana instance here being monitored. You can click on overview and check those graphs, the client requests and client response time in milliseconds. And you can go to the instances if you have more than one and click on the instance and see more data and details. So when you click on enter setup mode on this page, you can see that the last search nodes are being monitored with metric beat and the Kibana instance is uh, being self monitored. And you can check also the log stash monitoring and the beats monitoring and those will be done in another video. So this is everything for the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.